Now you know the basics of the script editor window, let's go ahead and create our first formula. So what I'm going to do is uh, create some custom columns for a watch list. So I'm going to click F3 on my keyboard, brings up the security selection window, and I'm going to do the uh, ASX sector indices. So I'm going to click the plus to expand ASX shares, and then under indices we have level one. And I'm going to open list as watch list, and there they appear. Um, on the left hand side there so you don't have to manually type the tickers you can open up folders um, easily into a watch list now to add columns I'm gonna click the plus sign there and then new script column and that brings up this editor window uh, as you saw in the previous video now there's two types of results in a script um, you can have either a value or a true false condition so I'm going to create a column to show the RSI value of these indices. So new, add script, and I'm going to call this um, RSI value. And as you can see, the name has changed on the left. If we click into the editor window, start typing RSI, and then all the options um, for functions uh, that contain those letters appear in the drop down list. So you can see there. RSI is what I want. I'm going to hit enter and it's automatically added the parentheses to the formula. Now to determine what criteria um, the program is using for this uh, calculation we click on that function. So if I click on the RSI text this little window pops up showing the properties and by default this is using a 10 period RSI. But let's say I want to make it 14 as I click that it adds it to the formula, um, also adds the bars equals text, so you don't need to uh, manually type that in, it will automatically do that for you. Now, as you can see, down the bottom of that window, it says script is valid, which um, obviously means that uh, it's a correct formula. Um, if I didn't have that parentheses after the 14, you can see there it changes um, in red there. It's not a valid script so there's obviously something wrong so let's put the parentheses back and now it's valid again and as we click apply it gives you a warning that you're updating the script yes I want to change it it's added that column RSI value now if we open up a chart this is a daily chart stick the RSI 14 on it um, you can see I'll just show in price scale value 64.17 is the same as the uh, column as you would expect and again as we scroll down it will all update as we go so let's add another column this time with a true false condition so again click the plus sign new script column um, this time i'm not gonna click on new and uh, create the script because there may be instances where you don't want to save everything that you create so I'll show you uh, what happens in that instance so this time we want to do RSI again RSI enter click on it to get the properties change it to 14 and this time I want a, a true false of where it is above 70 so greater than 70 script is valid apply and there you can see true false uh, in that column but the key thing is the um, because I haven't saved the uh, um, the formula it just appears as script in the column heading but we can go ahead and and change that label um, so right click on that script column and that first option there column label RSI greater than 70 and you can see that out of those sectors only two of them um, are above uh, above that value let's do one more example of a true false column so plus new script column and I want to do is a moving average um, greater than another moving average so MA for moving average again hit enter greater than another moving average and hit enter now to change the properties again click on the text so by default it's a five uh, simple period moving average so let's change that to 13 uh, let's say I want to make it an exponential based on the close 
and is that moving average greater than a 30 period exponential and we'll leave it as high low close and then click apply and you can see in all conditions or sorry that condition for all these indices is true.